Let's begin with our top story this hour, which is about the wildfires in the Amazon rainforest, which continue to rage on and is showing absolutely no signs of letting up. This has, of course, triggered worldwide fears about possible ramifications on the climate and even basic human life. Let's have a look at these visuals. This is a bird's eye view of what the forests look like right now. A charred, barren land. The blaze has been leaving behind a trail of destruction across Brazil, Bolivia and other countries that contain the Amazon. It has equally impacted plant and animal life in the forest. An 83% surge in forest fires has caused the destruction on your screens right now. Even as the fire ravages through the forests, trucks in the Altamira region of Brazil were seen transporting felled trees from the vicinity. This sort of environmental insensitivity is exactly what has brought about the disaster in the first place. The Amazon forests are a major shield for humans against climate change. But recent development practices have neglected environmental concerns and blunted its effectiveness. Now, several cities in Brazil have been engulfed by the smoke rising from the forest fires. In the Altimara state, a thick cloud of smoke has made firefighting an enormous challenge. Despite the dire situation, Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro had rejected the aid offer on the G7 countries. But now the president's spokesperson has backtracked on his stand and said that Bolsonaro, in fact, is open to foreign aid. But after expressing skepticism over G7 nations' proposed aid to combat the Amazon fires, the government of Brazil had come out and outrightly rejected any assistance. But Jair Bolsonaro has now said that he's willing to accept the aid offer, but with a rider that President Emmanuel Macron of France must apologize to him. Bolsonaro had questioned the intentions behind Macron's attempts to garner support for an action plan to help preserve the Amazon forest. Brazil's decision comes hours after Bolsonaro hit out at Macron in a series of tweets. He had called Macron's move an attack on the country's sovereignty. The tweet is on your screens. It reads, and I quote, We cannot accept that President Macron unleashes unreasonable attacks on the Amazon, nor disguises his intentions behind the idea of an alliance of the G7 countries to save the Amazon, as if we were a colony or a no-man's land. Now, in another tweet, Bolsonaro had said that the other heads of states who still sympathize with Brazil and that respect for sovereignty of a country is the least that can be expected in a civilized world. Será que alguém ajuda alguém? A não ser uma pessoa pobre, né? Sem retorno? O que que tá de ouro da Amazônia? O que que eles querem lá? Meanwhile, replying to Bolsonaro, Macron said that his intention was not to violate Brazil's sovereignty, but the Amazon fire concerns the entire planet. On respect votre souveraineté. C'est votre pays, c'est le Brésil. Et là-dessus, je vais être très clair. Je n'ai jamais été ambigu. Mais attention, ce, ce sujet de la forêt amazonienne est le, celui de la planète entière. Et donc, on peut vous aider à, à reforester. On peut trouver les moyens pour votre développement économique qui respecte ces équilibres. Mais on ne peut pas vous laisser tout détruire. Now remember, the Amazon Fund was announced by Macron, who hosted this year's G7 meet. Macron said that the Amazon rainforests are the lungs of the planet. And although U.S. President Donald Trump skipped the G7 working session on environment, Macron made it clear that the U.S. supported the initiative. Interestingly, Brazil's move to reject G7 aid comes in stark contrast to its environment minister's statement, who had welcomed the move instead. Listen in to what he had to say. Acho excelente medida, muito bem-vindo e aproveitar, inclusive, e lembrar que desde 2005 o Brasil tem uh, cerca de 250 milhões de toneladas de gás carbônico, de MDL, de, 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 de para receber.